Okay? Are you ready? Roll. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Roll. <laughs> Roll. Let's carry on. Five. You okay? Hmm? Seven. Slowly, because Lyle is getting heavier. And do this for 10 times 3 sets. Biceps, we use resistance bands. So we stand with feet shoulder width apart and we lift. So we do three sets of these as well. One, two, three, four. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Good, thank you. And uh, Rish, we have gotten quite a few questions for you. And uh, the most important question, or the most prevalent question that we have gotten, is after having this absolute bundle of joy that somehow is getting undressed, how did you lose your weight so quickly? Well, long story short, I've always been into health and wellness. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but post pregnancy, I'd say, apart from having good, healthy eating habits, or more like a lifestyle, mm -hmm. breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. That helps more than you know. Okay. More than you know. I'm so fortunate to be able to be exclusively breastfeeding Lyle. Ouch. It's good for him and it helps a lot with the mother's weight. Okay, that's very good. But other, uh, over and above that, what else are you doing in order to get your body so thin so quickly? I dance on my husband's head. <laughs> this is true. I just eat healthily, which I've always been doing. I do the housework. Yes. I am domesticated, you know. Ouch. Despite having uh, nicely done hair and nails, um, there are other things that I do in the house. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, doing the laundry and climbing up on stuff to hang the laundry. And um, let's get down to what I eat. Well, I was going to get there, but um, why is it that your son is so healthy that at three months he's already got a tooth that is biting into his father's finger at this point in time? How is that possible? He's a very smart, advanced kid. He's one of those upgraded versions. Oh, that's he's got. Uh, he's in a hurry to go places and do things. So this baby stuff needs to be cut short. Ouch! I see this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now onto your diet. What is it that you eat? What is there like a magic something that you eat that because you have. If you look at the other friends that you've got, that, what, there were five girls that fell pregnant around the same time, and literally... Strangely enough, 15 days apart. How well planned was that? Yes, this is very <laughs> strange that all your friends fell, fell pregnant at the same time, and um, not one of them has got a decent body. And all of them were very good looking little girls, at yeah, that time. they are younger than me. And they were all younger than you. How is it that you have got such an amazing body and they do not? I think the secret there is to know that when you are pregnant, you are eating for two, but then you're not eating for two. So with the Chinese um, tradition, you the 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 mother-in-law or the mother yes. would make all these special meals and uh, let me move up a little bit. Thank you. And insist that the pregnant daughter or daughter-in-law has got to be eating at all parts of the day, eating bigger portions, which is not necessary because you start off with like the baby only needs 150 um, calories. Mm -hmm. And then as the pregnancy progresses to um, second and third term, you only, the, the baby needs about 300 calories for the day, yes. which is more than yes. enough from your normal portion that you would eat. You eat a burger and both the baby and the mother has already exceeded 300 calories for the day. So with Chinese women, they, they tend to stock up a lot of fruits and soups and I just ate normal. I didn't have any cravings, fortunately. I drank a lot of water. I kept um, being active throughout the pregnancy, which was really not difficult to do. Yes. Uh, but eating, I ate like normal. Mm -hmm. I just doubled up on water intake. I usually do drink a lot of water, but I had more because now, you know, I needed to keep the baby hydrated as well. Okay, but what different things do you put into your diet? that is different to everybody else? For breakfast, I would have, I, I call it oats and ants. Yes. What are your so, ants that you eat? So the ants are chia seeds. Oh, chia seeds. Yes. Yes. Uh, the, the recommended daily allowance would be a teaspoon into your oats. Yes. But a teaspoon is a little bit too much for me because it gave me the runs. Yes. So I dropped my dosage to half a teaspoon in a bowl of oats. Oats is not the instant oats, it's the, um, the rolled oats. 
but I don't cook mine, I soak it overnight in water. So it's one cup of oats uh, with a cup of water soaked. Mm -hmm. And then in the morning, I would put a teaspoon or two of honey and half a teaspoon of chia seeds, which are good for omega 3s and all calcium and a whole lot of other good stuff. Okay. And it actually keeps you full. So if you're having it, uh, having uh, shakes and you want to use chia seeds in the shakes, you can put it in and let that soak overnight because then the seeds swell. Okay. Otherwise, you can just add them as they are into your oats in the morning. And then when, when you have it and it gets digested, then it swells in your tummy, which keeps you full up for longer. Okay, perfect. Uh, is there anything else that you have? Like any nuts or things like that? I like nuts, but I don't have them as often. I like fruits, but I don't have them as often as well. If I do have fruits, it's simple fruits, mm -hmm. like banana, which is, has always been a good thing. Um, it's cheap and it's very nutritious. Um, apples also are good. I like the occasional blackberries, blueberries, um, seasonal fruits, but I'm not very big on fruits. Okay. And then I would like to ask you about fasting. Yes. What types of fasting do you believe in and what, uh, what are the benefits of fasting in your eyes? Apart from spiritual, yes. it draws you closer to God. Um, it also gives the body a rest from digesting all these things that we eat that most of them are just so unnecessary. Usually, I like to go on a three-day fast weekly. Um, I used to do it quite often before the pregnancy and I'm getting back into it. And this is where I would have things like um, one or two fruit for the day. Uh, maybe some crackers and cheese, mm -hmm. maybe some nuts and raisins, but a lot of water as normal as every other day. My main fast would be the Daniel fast, um, the 21 day Daniel fast. Um, my meals would be very simple, a lot of fruit, a lot of veggies, no meat, no alcohol, um, a lot of the things that give me pleasure or my favorites, I would leave out, like chocolates mm -hmm. and ice cream. I love it, but I just put that aside for doing But fast. the Daniel fast is no sugar, no... Yes, as simple as possible. Yeah, no sugar, no processed anything. Yes, yes. So, yeah, that's a very, that's a very easy one, but that's mm -hmm. very spiritual and that's getting closer to God and that we do... Oh, and the, the, the results are unbelievable. Amazing. And not just unbelievable. No, that's not just um, physically, but it's also spiritually. Yes. Totally yes. unbelievable. Um, what are you? What are your thoughts on intermittent fasting? I'm not very big on it, but I would say that it is a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. We were we were taught that uh, you eat breakfast like a king. And you eat lunch like a like a prince, is it? A pauper? <laughs> <laughs> no, dinner like a pauper. Dinner like a pauper. Yeah. No. Well, so uh, I don't really believe in three meals for the day. Uh, during my pregnancy, I ate every three hours, and I had salmon once a week, which needed to be three hundred grams. Oh, but you used to have an apple as a whole meal. During pregnancy, let's mm, just put that into true, perspective. True, true. Or, or a have, banana as a whole meal. Every three hours to stabilize blood sugars, which was not what the the Chinese women were doing. They were just eating um, twenty apples and twenty oranges every hour. Overdone. Yes. There's, there was just no need to have that many fruits. Uh, mm. Fruits are good. Fruits are very good. They are healthy. They have a lot of good benefits, but there's no need to overdose on it. Okay.